Hey everyone, Andrew here again with Toad Running Productions. Hope you're all doing well. And we got ourselves a new mile world record. The previous women's mile world record was all the way back from 1996. That's 23 years. But yesterday, Safan Hassan of the Netherlands ran a four minute, 12.33 second mile to break the world record. And I don't think anyone was expecting this. I know I wasn't, but in this video, we're gonna take a look at the race from yesterday's Diamond League Monaco meet and see exactly how she broke it. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So you get a fair start here, and right off the bat, Safan Hassan is in last place. Now this is not terribly uncommon for Hassan. She does not get out of the blocks. Well, I guess it's a 15, it's a mile race, so she's not getting out of the blocks, but she does not get off the starting line very quickly. She usually goes into last place or near last place, and then as the race progresses, she moves up. But if you'll notice, the pacer in this race jumps out just way too quickly. Pacers typically want to be just ahead of the pack, but this pacer went out way, way, way too fast. So pretty untraditional, pretty non-traditional start of the race. And you'll see Hassan already back up to second place by 150 meters. So the race is underway. And what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to take a look at the previous splits from the previous mile world record. And we're going to compare them to this race. And I'll make sure to put that up on the screen as we pass by each 400 meter mark. And it looks like we passed through the 200 meter mark in right around 33 seconds. Now Hassan is in third place. She got out slow, but then she sort of, you know, evenly paced, got up to the lead. Now she's back in third place, running pretty relaxed. And the pack is still pretty bunched. The pacer is, I think, realizing that she needs to pick it up just a little bit. And before this race started, the announcers were actually saying that someone said they were going to go through the 800 meter mark in two minutes and four seconds, which would be way too quick. And they do not go through the 800 meter mark that fast. I can tell you that right now. And as the race goes through the 400 meter mark, the leader hits the 400 meter split in 64.26 seconds. That's a pretty solid pace. That's about 417, 418 for one mile. And as you could see from the world record time, four minutes and 12 seconds, I'm pretty sure Safan Hassan negative splits every single 400 meters. Incredible. This is a really, really great performance from her. And a lot of other athletes ran really well in this race as well. I believe a lot of people got in the top 25 in history in this race, three or four athletes, I believe. But back to the race, through the 600 meter mark, Looks like she ran through in maybe 137, something like that. But she is right behind the pacer, and this is where she starts to gap the field a little bit. Sagay there in second place is right behind her, looking looking pretty good. But Hassan, she's already had a few great races this year, so maybe she had the confidence to really perform well and make sure that she's, you know, getting every ounce of energy out of her. So 800 meters, two minutes, 8.2 seconds, pretty solid. Again, that lap was underneath 64 seconds. And what's incredible about this world record versus the previous world record is that the previous world record was not paced very well. So the previous world record split the 800 meter mark in just over two minutes and six seconds. They're at two minutes and eight seconds. So they're still behind, but they're actually closing in on the previous world record with each lap. And now the field is really, really strung out. There's no bunching up whatsoever. The pace has picked up quite a lot, actually. So Hassan here, Right behind the pacer, as you can see, she looks she looks really good. She looks like she's just powering through the whole race, and that's what I remember thinking about this race. She really powered through, and she does have kind of a non-traditional arm carriage. Comes out to the side a little bit, but she makes it work, and she just keeps flying. So coming up with about 500 meters to go here, Hassan and Sagay are away. They have gapped the field significantly. And look how powerful she looks right here. Look how high her knees are coming. She looks very, very bouncy. She definitely has a lot of energy to go, and Sagay there in second place is suffering. And right there, you got a 61.9 second lap. Again, that's faster than the previous two laps. The one mile race is 1,609 meters, not 1,600 meters. So she's gonna run 400 meters plus an extra nine meters for this last lap. So I'm pretty confident that this last lap will be right around 61.5. And you can see she is just powering away so hard. So again, yeah, second place is pretty much dropped at this point. Hassan is so strong. She's probably the strongest athlete in female distance running at the moment. And look at her. She actually looks pretty relaxed. She's got a little grimace on her face, 
but she looks really smooth. Her arms are just out of control, powerful. So she passes through with 200 meters to go right around three minutes and 41 seconds. That means she would need to run a final 200 meters in 31 seconds to get the world record. Right around 31 seconds, give or take a few tenths. And before we get to the finish, I wanted to mention that she passed through 1500 meters in three minutes and 55 seconds. That is unbelievable. Let's go ahead and get back to the finish here. And you can see she's still just powering away a lot of power from Safan Hassan. 4 minutes and 12.33 seconds. That's right around 63 seconds per lap. That might be right at 63 seconds per lap, given the extra 9 meters to make the full mile. And who could blame her for being extraordinarily happy? I did not think this was going to happen. In fact, I don't know of many people that did. I made a video earlier uh, last week talking about world records that might be broken this year. I must admit, I did not think the women's mile would be broken this year. So congratulations to Safan Hassan, a fantastic performance. And I am really excited to see what happens for the rest of the year. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like this kind of video, let me know. I would love to run through any new world records, any great performances. And yeah, feel free to like and subscribe for more great running content. And I'll see you all in the next video.